Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm host Rob, aka Star Shadow, playing Football Manager 21, continuing our San Reno challenge, which is to take the tiny make the tiny microstate of San Reno all the way from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. Uh, simultaneously, you take a club based in San Reno all the way to Champions League Glory. And for the purposes of this particular challenge, uh, we've taken over a club based in San Reno called San Reno Calcio, went defunct in 2019. Uh, but we resurrected him for the purposes of this, pumped a ton of money into him, and uh, really pimped out the youth uh, facilities and coaching everything to see if the challenge is even possible. Because what you really need to do is pump out a lot of kids and hopefully get some talent to come through for the youth for the national team. Uh, doing pretty good that way. Uh, season nine, we're finished runner up in the Champions League last season, so uh, the club seems to be turned over pretty good right now. All good. Uh, so we're here with the national team. We're in World Cup qualification, uh, sitting in third actually right now. Uh, pretty tough, uh, pretty tough slog at the top end there. We got, um, so you can see here, we'll take a look at the, the link. We got Belgium, who was ranked 10th in the world. Uh, we had a tough match against them uh, in our first in our first match against them. Uh, scored first, we actually tied with them 1-1 before one of our players decided to get sent off. And we ended up losing 3-1. Not good. Uh, but uh, we put up a better fight against Czech Republic, who is ranked in the top 50, I believe, right? 54. So pretty close. Uh, we And we got a draw to them. Uh, Denmark is ranked 24th. And we got... What did we get? Did we... Got beat 3-0 at home. So no, that did not go very well. But we did turn over Belarus, who is ranked in uh, 124. We're at 115. We move up to 158, 157. So we are steadily moving, steadily moving up a little bit. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, this this international break, we got two matches. Malta. Uh, we're at, away to Malta and at home to the Czech Republic. Uh, so Malta is going to be our first match. It's going to be in this episode. We are expecting to turn them over pretty easily. We beat them for nothing at home. They are ranked, actually ranked below us at 196. So they should not pose a threat for us. Uh, but Czech Republic at home, we, since we beat them or uh, got points away, we got at least do that. We would like to, to take three from them to give us a chance in that last weekend where we got the top two teams. But um, yeah. we'll see. Uh, I mean, from a, a San Marinese perspective, this has been a very successful uh, qualification. We're not at the foot of the table, but we've got some wins. We're doing pretty good. And part of what's going on here that's helping us out is we have, let's see, what do we have here? We look at, on Thromos, Wonder Kid, uh, Mattia Giardi, Wonder Kid. And Daniela Giardi, Wonder Kid. We got three Wonder Kids now after Giardi uh, got the label uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. So, uh, shows you we have talent, actually. So, we're not actually the talent of a 157 ranked team. We're probably a talent of at least uh, top 100, maybe probably inside the top 80. Uh, our problem is, of course, our center backs are a young and not particularly great i mean definitely better than center backs that I, I, you would expect at a rate but uh right at a rank but we are struggling with the uh, you know top 50 level center backs all right so uh we got malta we're gonna play a little bit of a weaker team because we're gonna try and bring our starter players out for um Czech Republic see if we can get that win does mean we're gonna have a weak team out here uh Chikoma Matza who is our nation's leading scorer with 18 goals and 47 caps already I scored in the last match too see we're baking a little bit so that's good uh one of our new players here in uh Francisco Golnucci who uh, came through our youth intake he was in the italian set up for a little while now uh he's uh finally come home so uh 
he's pretty good. I'm looking forward to this. But uh, Nicola Fiorini, who's a former Wonder Kid, he was in the Italian set of two until uh, a couple months ago. Uh, we brought him back in. All good here. He's good. The goal scorer. He scored uh, over 15 goals twice in Serie A, so you can put him away. And then, of course, our other top forward is the Wonder Kid, Daniela Giardi, who, uh, yeah, he's playing pretty well for the senior side and our team now. He's still a backup, though, so kind of rotating in here and there. Uh, we also have a new keeper, number one here in uh, Giacomo Walandi, which uh, you can basically say, you can basically think that if they're uh, a new gen, then they came from our youth academy. Very few uh, San Marinese players of any note have not come from our youth intake, of which there are two in our team right now. Andrea Scotti, uh, who is from... Roma's Academy? Yeah, Roma's Academy. Yeah, Sam Torino now. And uh, Giacomo Mazza, who Torino, I believe. No, Spezia. My bad. Uh, those are the only two from that from our youth intake. Everyone else on the team is from our youth intake. Our last uh, touchstone to reality in uh, Benedentini has retired. He was our captain for a long time. Uh, he retired uh before during the summer so that's our last touchdown reality these are all not real kids at this point point. and i want to point out one thing that uh all of this is this is basically easy mode because i'm taking i'm trying to just see this as, as, as possible so there's a lot of money and everything about our youth intakes are as good as possible so we're basically seeing if a maxed out uh one club maxed out youth intakes are good enough to supply a small nation enough talent to be number one uh, and so i mean we're, we're going forward and we're producing a lot of talent so we shall see here uh oh Gianluca bellini who played out of his mind in france last year he's now playing at uh psv the plane as well there he's gonna need a rest here so let's uh, throw out there Actually, both my attackers are not doing too well here. Uh, Bellini score has got one goal for us, right? Yeah. Uh, how do I want to do this? Rusty could come go to start the next match. He's probably at that this spot. Uh, I guess we're gonna do this. I don't want to do this. Uh, go tier. We'll have to pull one of these guys, I think, in order to get this going. Actually, let's let's start Mattioni. Mattioni is a good prospect. Uh, four star means he's gonna be uh, if he were to be a four star potential for. Uh, what we have, uh, that would be a good Serie A player. Because we are at that level now where basically a three star is a, a good solid uh, Serie A starter. And once you get past that, they start getting better and better. But yeah, he's very athletic. Uh, so he's still putting it all together. He's 20, so he's uh, out on loan. So he's playing every, every week. Well, twice a week right now. All right, so this is how we're going to start. Oh, actually, I want to start uh, Chachi, who played very badly in this first match, even though he's better than uh, Gilberte. I think we're going to give him an opportunity in a lesser, um, less pressure, less, less everything, I think. And uh, see if we can bet him in a little bit better. Uh, Miami uh, uh, was our number one for a while once he came into our setup. But uh, he's not quite as good as Guadalandi, so he's going to get the start here. He's gotten 17 starts previously, so. Uh, but he's, he's, you know, he's a pretty good keeper. Because Guadalandi is a little bit better. So, 
All right. This is what we're going to do here. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's do this. So we're way to Malta. Actually, I want to make sure I save this game just because. Just in case something happens, I hate to forget what I did. Had it crashed before, so. Got to be smart about it. Bum, bum, bum. All right, team selection. We made our selections. Uh, Galtieri is going to come down the right. He's our right wing back. He played for the senior team for a while, but now he's not because he's has not made that jump that we were hoping he would make. But he's a attacking wing back and attack. And Cassidy, who is a backup at Mets. I don't know how. He's not particularly good, but he's like the only other left back besides Ramos that we have. I guess uh, Berardi can play there too, but um, then we don't have a left side of center, uh, center back unless we bring in uh, Luca Benantini, who, uh, yeah, that's not great. Actually, maybe we should start him here and have Berardi. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, actually. Since Malta should not do anything to us, we should definitely be able to take care of them all right next match uh we're gonna come at him start a positive complete forward you um you're gonna be the deep liar you can be a ball winner we may end up moving you guys up depending on how things look but that should work Lacks familiarity with the team shape, even though the team shape has not changed since I've taken over. Which was like a couple seasons ago, so a couple years ago at this point, so. Alright, let's take a look here. Yeah, that guy is terrible. <sighs> Alright, I'm looking to make sure I can drop these all on their weaker foot early. Yeah, oh, not that. That guy. Actually, he does not have a weak foot. All right. Guess we're going to press these two guys. Yep. Mark him. Oh, because he's a center. Yeah. Good idea. But yeah. Uh, so yeah. Let's take another quick look at these guys. Oh, that's a playmaker. That guy is not good. Yes, this is okay. There's almost some talent here, and yeah, this is not a good team. They are definitely ranked 193rd for a reason. Yeah, so we are favorites for a reason. Uh, should be winning this comfortably. Complacent for some reason, even though he's not done anything. All right, Malta have the worst defense in World Cup qualifiers. You must consider yourselves favorites. I uh, told them to go out there and, do, and score. Yes. Sprung a few surprises with your team selection today. What we're still thinking behind that. Uh, some players will play here. Others will play in another fixture because we're thinking ahead. It's an opportunity for some players to play. Now, whether they get the job done is what we're going to find out here because, um, yeah, this would be bad if something happened here. It's an opportunity for players to come out here and show what they have. Wow, that dude grabbed him. It looked like a nothing. <laughs> like he's, but when we're not holding the ball at all. Wonderful. All right, I need to take care of that. Long, okay, that's uh, okay, that's something I don't know where that would be going. That that got blocked. Let's 
So, so far, Malta is dominating position against us. Wonderful. And there's Leverani, who has been terrible. Wow, just, wow, just, wow. We're demanding more because this is no good. Okay, we're getting into it a little bit more. There we go. Yep. Now turn and go. Yep. Over the top. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now work. Now work for one. Basically, get the ball on target. Okay. Not sure this keeper is capable of making a save. Tioni has got a yellow card ready. That's great. Um, that means we will not let you be a ball winner anymore because that is the only thing that can really help them is if we get a yellow card. So let us not do ball winner. Let's do. Got the midfielder. Press a little bit harder. But ease off tackles. Press, but ease off. They're not good enough that if you put them under pressure, they're going to do anything. So just get in their face. And that should be good enough. Okay, you got a low injury. Take you off at the half, I guess. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see how it recovers. Lucci, nothing. Uh, yeah, thank you. He's right there. Yep. Oh, I like it. Just a knee, okay. Yeah, we'll take him off at the half then. Well, Thierry took a another a knock too. What? What did he? Not happy though. We should be up like five million to nothing. All right, hampered by entry. Yes. Uh, who do I want to try and get going a little bit here? To play Fiorini maybe for. He's the match fitness. Let's give him forty-five. Start there. Actually, you know what we're doing? We're playing the discipline. We don't need to. I kind of want to take, be more exp uh, expressive, but I don't think I need to. Let's score a couple more real quick and then I can pull Scotty off. We're gonna need him for the next match. Of course, that would involve, you know, actually doing something worth, you know, getting chances for. We gotta switch to something slightly more attacking. Uh, still the same as you were. Press and use up tickles. All right, not bad, but you know, we got to take possession when you make that tackle. Not liking that they gained so many chances. Okay, whoa, that was, <laughs> that was brave there. Maybe a little too confident there. 
Where, 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 oh my god. My god. I think there's someone. What the? Oh my god. Come on. He that dude took a dive. That was, that was not a penalty. He took a dive and a half. What is going on here? What is going on here? He took that to dive. <laughs> They're not even doing it. He just fell over for no reason. Whoops. <laughs> that's, that's a dive. My God. I forgot to switch to the match game. That's a, that was a, that's a huge dive. <sighs> oh my God. Stupid team here. I know I would love to bring you off right now, but yeah, I kind of have to because you are tired and we need you for the next match. God, you gotta be kidding. I don't have time wasting on, just get the ball in. What is this? Freedom. That's what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's not unlucky. That's bull. This is the problem here because I have two le only left footers right here. I want to push you up. <sighs> can be good. Or you can play. Now you can only play on the right. I only have one more change. Bring Ramos on. Do we have double winger? No, 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 we don't. Still play inside forward. So they gave it back. Just nice. Nice of them. Okay, so this referee is just terrible. <laughs> I was thinking he might be corrupt, but I think he's just terrible. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, we're continuing the same attack here because just wanna try and end this here. That's a great ball. That's amazing that the keeper saved it. And 50 guys there. None of them want to put the ball in the... There we go. There we go. Put it in the back of the net. There we go. Now you guys want to start scoring. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Maybe I should have just come out and just attacked him from the very beginning instead of like half-heartedly attacking him. You know, sometimes that seems to be a problem. Trying to be tight at the back. And, <laughs> and sometimes we don't need to be... We need to show him no respect whatsoever. And now we're not, we're not showing him any respect whatsoever now. They're starting to crumble a little bit against us. Nice. Go, just take him. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you, and you got fouled. And that's the goal. Hey, it's his first. Like it. And yeah, that's why he's playing that complete forward. He's got that. He's big. He can dribble a bit. Right in the air. And he's pretty strong, it looks like, too, because he just shrugged that dude right off. Just shrugged that dude right off. Look at that right over the top, beautiful ball. Like I definitely didn't want to... What the... What happened? He turned it behind or into the net? What, what, anyway, uh, didn't want to play like a super high press the entire match anyway, because guys are not in shape for that. Most of them. Some of them are, but most of them are not in shape for playing some kind of, for that kind of high pressing game but you know 15 minutes left let's let's give that to them and make them fold I guess right here at the end great ball I guess the last 15 minutes of what we're, what we're gonna do here is just take out our frustrations I guess the only thing I can think of I hate this only three subs thing that FIFA is doing, I guess, still. Definitely five subs is the way to go. Yeah, they were definitely fired up after getting that penalty and scoring and again take the lead then then boom 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 formation switch yes i know which you probably should play from the beginning but it's okay we don't really set up for it we don't have a lot of left wingers is the problem that's why I, one reason why i didn't want to play it either uh but yeah that works we'll take it pretty good pretty good don't get complacent though don't get complacent because we have an actual team next. Don't get complacent. They're complacent. Because they think they did something. You can't win with them either. Either we're expecting to get beaten so they're not mad that they get beat. Or we beat a team that we should be beating and they're like, yeah. Good job, us. To say that particular final score was on the cards would be an exaggeration. Just how pleased are you by the outcome? Uh, uh, not certain, but certain aspects of the performance are were disappointing. Like that entire first half. That gets us in the still in the third. We're just nice. Good look at that goal differential. We even have a positive goal differential of, of plus six. How? Can you believe that? That's San Marino. That's right, San Marino. We could jump in the second if we beat Czech Republic. 
and Denmark loses to probably it doesn't matter who they play they're probably gonna be whoever they're playing it's either Belarus or Malta uh probably Belarus I think uh but that means if we, if we can beat wait hold on here let's see here we beat Czech Republic and Denmark let's say for some reason we managed to do that that's 19 but then they have because they played Belgium twice already then so they would have they would still be in second then probably because they'll probably get six from the other matches yeah so we we we, we have to win the next match and hope for some some help is basically it they might have the Czech Republic and the Czech Republic might be able to help us that'd be the only way we can get in a second not too likely our under 21s got destroyed mostly because and if they're any good then they're playing on the senior team but this would be like these are not very good teams either, though Gasparoni is actually pretty decent Irini actually pretty decent too but what happened there man man I thought terrible performance like Gobi's not terrible either you have caps don't you yeah two caps But yeah, same thing with um, the under 19s. It's even worse because, like I said, if they're any good, they're playing on the senior team. All right, he got injured. Yeah, not too long, I don't think, though. Took him out pretty quickly. Uh, so we meet expectations in dominant win. Ooh, very good. I'm still mad about that penalty. I can't believe they gave that because that's terrible. They do, that was a huge dive. Golden Uchi, Golden Assist, very good. Uh, our third keeper, or no, that's Marco Cassidy. That's our. He was getting. He got. He used our left back in that match. Please, but. Uh, thought maybe he was saying something about how bad he. How, that we shouldn't be complacent, but apparently not. A uh, member of Sermonese camp told the media that the win had been greeted with cautious optimism represented progress for meeting their expectations. Our expectations are not to finish bottom. We're not. So yeah, top three teams left on our schedule. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, quiet game. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Sermonese scored. Uh, what's our performance here? Uh, competitions be competitive yeah how are, how is this not like through here like it should be all the way like through here because being competitive would be this this is not being competitive this is actually trying to qualify so yeah this 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 bar should not be a 57 percent there should be a one or a two in front of it Either 157% or 257%. That's the only, only possible thing here because we are so far ahead of what anyone would expect. And this one too, I don't know how fight bravely against relegation. Oh, we weren't even close to being relegated. We should have been promoted, but we choked against Lithuania and that's only a 64. I have no idea what what these expectations are, are then because that's ridiculous we, they should be these bars should be more than filled up right now it's all right anyway hey anyway, it's gonna do it for us uh in this one so we have our match against Czech Republic coming up so uh we're gonna we're gonna get that one out too so uh be on the lookout for that one uh but thanks for watching thanks for hanging out and supporting so if you are enjoying these videos the the series then you know like comment subscribe share all that good stuff on these videos i really do appreciate it and shout out to all those that have subscribed already uh really 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 appreciate it uh follow us on social media and streams by star on twitter exclamation point twitter in the chat get you that link and there's links to the twitter and our twitch actually too in the description of the videos so definitely uh check all that stuff out uh stream uh, a few times a week uh for like an hour so you can come hang out for a little bit. Bad time for most people, but can't do it when you're available. So uh yeah, thanks for 
for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting and seeing what the same Marinese team can do. Uh, so stay safe, everyone. Stay well. Stay good. And I'll see y'all for the next one.